Hey guys, welcome back. Dave here will tell us a question that we received mm -hmm. from one of our viewers. Go ahead, Dave. So, someone asked in our comments, mm -hmm. uh, I think a couple videos back now, I know there's some environmental concerns with running an excess yes. amount of oil, Yeah. but there was an individual who was interested in knowing if it's okay to run double the amount of oil in order to preserve his equipment, his piston and cylinder mm -hmm. from ever scoring. Now, I think I, I don't know if I'd recommend that. Obviously, I don't know as much as you, mm -hmm. but what are the reasons that we wouldn't want to run twice the amount of oil, for example, like 25 to one or even 30 mm -hmm. to one um, in our chainsaws or other small engines? Okay, Dave, that's a good question. So the reason you wouldn't want to run double the amount of oil, Dave, mm -hmm. is because today's oils are very good. You don't need to like double up. Okay. Okay. Yep. What can happen is if you run double the amount of oil, right. first of all is the spark arrestor screen can get plugged. Okay, so where's that? Yep. Uh, on this one here, it would be down in there. Oh. If I show you the MS-170 here, Dave. A little more, com little more common, this up. You take the two nuts here and okay. the spark arrestor is right here. Okay, let me just do that here. You can show me. Sure. So here it is, Dave. Okay. So now, what does that do normally? So this spark arrestor screen here, Dave, yep. it does what it's called, spark arrestor. It's, it can stop the sparks from coming out and starting forest fires. Oh, so if a spark okay. were to come out and it landed, okay, so that stops the big material get, from coming out. Got yeah, it. It would get stuck in here, yep. you know, between the cylinder, between the muffler and the screen, then it wouldn't go on the outside to Got start it. a fire. Yep. Now, since we're talking about what's the effect of running too much oil, yep. this will get plugged very, very quickly. Okay. Okay. Now, I believe that the YouTuber was asking us, Yep. If you use too much oil, yep. will it end up scoring your cylinder? Yeah, that was so. That was okay. an actually a different question. Is there any issue with running twice the oil, and if running more oil than recommended will actually score from a lean um, because there's not as much fuel in the mixture, so it's leaner? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so it wouldn't do it because it's leaner from fuel. Right. Okay, but it could end up scoring your your piston and cylinder. Right. Because having twice the amount of oil yep. will cause a huge carbon buildup. So that's what happens with oh. these spark arrestor screens. Yep. Basically, when you pull it out yep. and it's all black, yep. it's all carbon and oil deposits. Yep. It's plugging up the whole system. Can't breathe. Exactly. Right. You can't breathe, can't let the, the air out, yes. the exhaust out, yep. so it won't run. Right. So you get excess heat then. Oh yeah, yeah. You could get excess heat definitely. Yep. Definitely excess heat because I've seen a lot of chainsaws with plugged spark arresters and the pistons are all brown. Yes. Well, you can see the yes. marks of overheating. Right, because so if you can get air in still, like if your air intake side was clean, yeah. but your air your exhaust side is plugged, yeah. it's just gonna overheat. Exactly. Now here's the kicker is okay. if you use too much oil. Yep you'll get a huge carbon buildup right on the piston. Oh. And on the exhaust port. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's port. it's just getting plugged up and it can't do what it's supposed to. So I do think I have a video on that, Dave, where I had a chainsaw in the shop, the exhaust port was plugged. I'll put the link under the video so Sounds good. you can watch. So, but what can happen is all that carbon's building up on your exhaust port, on right. the piston, right. eventually it's gonna break off. Oh. Okay, it's going to break off and that carbon is very hot. Uh, hard it's like sand okay okay so it'll break off you don't need much to break off it's going to get stuck between the piston and the cylinder uh, okay going to scratch it all up scored big time so the guy that asked that was right you know uh he he had a good thought there because yes it could in the long run score up your piston and cylinder not because of the lubrication right but because of the carbon build right and not because of lean because it's actually um more oil in the fuel but it's actually just to do with the carbon okay yeah and it's hard for a two cycle engine to burn that amount of oil all the time and have it yes clean. yes so whatever doesn't get burnt up kind of builds up got it eventually it breaks off and i've seen that before but just gump gunked up oh, yeah. black, black goopy yeah 
that spark are, arresters, know, no mufflers power. that are leaking, yeah. like basically. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, when we talk about double the amount of oil, we're talking 20, 25 to one here. We're talking a massive amount of oil. Way too much. Because I always recommend to run saws at 45 to one. Yep. To give it just a little bit more lubrication. Yep. But 45 to one compared to 50 to one will not cause right. that carbon buildup. But give you a little more safety. Exactly. Now, one thing I want to talk about too quickly here that's a little unrelated to this, but in a way it is, is even if you did use 45 to 1 or 50 to 1 on two cycle engines and you never really rev it up to where it's uh -huh. revving high enough. Yep. Operating temperature. Exactly. So to give you an example, I see this often on uh, weed whackers. Okay. Okay. Because people just feather the throttle. You don't need to be wide open when you're right. uh, trimming your lawn yep. with your weed whacker. So I often see the spark arresters getting plugged on the steel uh, weed whackers because of they're not revving them high enough. Oh. Okay? So I've seen it, uh, like, you know, trimmers are yeah. kind of my specialty. specialty. My, my specialty for sure. But I yeah. always wonder, you know, I always thought whoever had a muffler or a spark arrestor that was leaking yeah. oil or fully plugged was just because they ran way too much oil. But maybe in this case, it's actually just because they haven't, um, they haven't been using it or having revving it out or heated it up. Exactly. So it can be because of both reasons. Here, Got it. Babe. So Got if it. you put too much oil guys in your, in your gas, you might notice some black leakage mm. on your muffler. Or if it's okay. poor quality oil too, or yes. mu oil that's not necessarily meant for a small engine. I've seen that before, right? Exactly. Marine oil or... Yeah, don't use marine oil right. in the, uh, chainsaws, guys. Snowmobile oil, just not meant for it. No. And uh, again, so if you did see some black leakage here from having too much oil, it's because it's not being burnt. Got it. And it's leaking. There's nothing wrong with your engine. What you need to do is look at how you're mixing your gas. Yep. And what I would recommend is if you've been using too much oil, mm -hmm. is to take the muffler off and clean the carbon on the exhaust board. Got it. Sounds good. Okay. Hopefully yeah. this answered all the questions here. Yes. Okay, so guys, if you're using modern two-stroke oil, don't double up. Go, go to 40, 45 to 1, or 50 to 1 at the most. Nice and safe. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for being on the show, Dave. Thank you for having me. And uh, everybody watching, make sure to subscribe to Dave's channel. He's yeah. got some good chainsaw videos. Yeah. Subscribe to mine and also follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And please leave us a comment. Have a great day. Take care.